welcome to my channel. Well, this is kind of a, I, it's never going to be squashed, this, this debate, or this, you're going to have one opinion or another. Are Chinese knives all junk? And uh, that's just going to be your opinion. Like this knife, for example, when I did my last one, a comment was left that, you know, basically all Chinese are junk, that when you buy a Chinese knife, you're basically being robbed because you don't know what their, what their steel is and all this other stuff. And even if it heat treats right, it could have been heat treated improperly. All right. You know, all these are um, valid complaints. But uh, if you address them and you look at them, I think what you find, what you come down to, is a person really has a bias against the Chinese government or something. Because the Chinese can make a good knife. It doesn't... All right, so the, the issue was between the Grand Way hunting knife and the Buck Vanguard. The Buck Vanguard cost $115. They're the ones that designed the knife, so some of that cost has to go in there in, in research and development. You know, the Chinese just copied it, so they're saving a lot of money on, on that right there. They just take an existing design and they copy it. Now, when they copy it, they're going to try to save money, and a lot of times the way they save money is they they don't use, like this one says, 440C, but it probably isn't. Like, you know, the person that was leaving the comment said, it's probably 9CR18MOV or something like that. Guess what that is? That's the Chinese copy of 440C. Does that make it worse? Do the, do the materials make it worse, you know, that it's a Chinese copy? No, if they use the same uh, type of chemicals and everything, then 9CR18MOV is going to come out pretty close. To this, if it's the same, I don't think they're exactly the same. You know, they might have changed an atom here or two, you know. But still, it's going to be pretty similar, all right? So, does this steel care that it was made in China, you know? No. It's, it's again, it's politics. And the reason why I say this is, every time someone brings up how bad Chinese knives are, they never mention Pakistan. Now, I like Pakistan knives, but you know what? They're the ones that slap stuff together out of questionable materials and unknown qualities and slap a label on them. For the most part, I'm not saying all Pakistani knives are, are junk. I will never say that of any country. You know, all your knives are junk. Because there's bound to be someone. You can't make absolute statements like that. And then when you're doing that, you're just basically saying, okay... You like buying junk knives. There's something wrong with you. No. Um, knives, I don't have to have the best example of this knife in the world to enjoy it. You know? I don't care what country it came from. I don't care where it was made. You know? I like the look and feel of this knife. Even though it's, you know, thin in the handle and everything. It just works. I mean, I like it. How many American companies are making a knife exactly like this that I can buy? Go ahead. Go ahead and tell me, you know. And how much am I going to pay for it? Yeah, I'm going to pay a lot more. But, you know, if you just want to check something out, if you just want to look at it and try it, uh, there's nothing wrong with buying one of these knives. If you don't even ever use it and you just display it, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, these are all opinions. If a person doesn't want a Chinese knife in their house and they give them all away to their friends and now everything's much easier because they don't have Chinese knife, fine. That's your world. That's your world. That's not my world. And when uh, you come up and you try to say that all Chinese knives are junk, what you're trying to say is, I made a decision to get rid of all Chinese knives in my, in my house, and that wasn't good enough for me. Now I have to tell the world how great I am, that I only have you know American and German knives and no Chinese knives. Fine, you know, if you've got an issue with China, that's fine, you know. But uh, I'm not going to be that way. Don't expect to drop that statement here and, and change my mind about buying knives, you know. This knife right here is made in America. It's inexpensive, you know. 
Would I care if it was made in China and stuff? It depends on the on the company. If if you're getting it from an unknown company, yeah, they can do questionable stuff. But you know, to sit there and say, well, because it Rockwell uh, to a higher degree doesn't mean it's a good knife. There's things you can't see like edge geometry. I can see edge geometry. Um, there's other, you know, how it cuts and everything. I can I can tell that when I cut, you know. So I mean. Don't try to make this into some super mystical thing that only America and certain countries know how to make knives. The problem with Chinese knives was they're stealing designs. They're stealing designs. Now, American companies basically have been doing something similar and they look at past patterns and copy them, you know, from other makers and they change them slightly. So, since the original knife was made in the knife patterns, everybody's been copying everybody else, you know, on stuff. So don't blame the Chinese for doing what everybody else does, which is copy knives. Their practices you can get after, and their, and their form of government and all that. But as far as the knife itself, all right, it's, it's true, you know, you get what you pay for. If you're paying $15 for a knife that normally costs $150, there's going to be corners cut in places. Like, yeah, like the sheath could be one of them. And yeah, the knife won't be very good without a sheath. I can make a sheath. I can get a sheath fairly inexpensively. It's not a deal breaker to me about a sheath, you know. Um, I, I might even learn some things about how to make uh, leather crafts and stuff. So, all my all my uh, rant on this one is about basically is, you buy whatever you want, man. You buy whatever you want. Do not expect your argument or your your reasoning to fly with me when it comes in here. I'm gonna disagree. Now, this doesn't mean I'm gonna delete your comment and take you out and kick you off or anything. No, you're you're fine to have your opinion. You know, if you think all. Uh, Chinese knives are junk, then fine, don't buy Chinese knives, man. And if you see other people buying them, don't go in there and say, well, they're all junk, you know. You can if you want, you know, but you're, you're just basically raining on other people's parade, you know. I'm, I'm, this is not a parade for me, but I enjoy buying Chinese knives. I'm, I enjoy buying knives from any country, anywhere, if it's a knife. Even Pakistan, you know. It's, it's kind of like the steel snobbery or knife snobbery brought to a peak, you know, where I'm only going to have, you know, this, I'm not even going to look in a catalog at a knife that's made in China. I'm going to be that pure. You know, you're going to turn it into a religion. You're only going to have made in USA knives. Well, fine. You're still not going to get to heaven any faster than anybody else, you know. It's just your opinion. And you're fine. To, you're free to have your opinion. But when you go to make a blatantly false statement that all Chinese knives are junk, I'm going to call it out. I'm not going to get mad or upset about it or anything. I'm just going to let it know, let you know that I disagree. And we don't always have to agree, you know, on, on, this, on this channel. We don't have to agree on everything. You can like whatever kind of knife you like, and I like whatever kind of knife I like, and that's the way it goes, you know. Chinese knives, basically, they took over. When we gave up manufacturing in America, when we said, ah, you know, we'd rather, I'm sure it's a lot more complex than that, but we basically, we gave it up. We just said, nah, we're tired of doing that. We're going to go make more sophisticated things. And then other countries like China and Japan and Taiwan and all these other countries, Pakistan, they took these existing designs and said, well, if you don't want to make them, we will. And we can make them cheaper than that because we don't have to pay the labor and we don't have to pay the material costs. But they can still take whatever they've got and make a decent knife out of it. You know, you can, you try making your own knife and tell me you can make one better than, than this for $15 or whatever it costs, you know. Go ahead, try it. See how good you are. That's where they get us is with the price, you know. If American companies could make them, for $15, I'd be buying these every day and bragging about how great American knives are and stuff. But I wouldn't say all German knives are junk. 
or all Japanese knives are junk. I mean, you can say that. Like I said, that that that's your opinion. That doesn't make it a fact, and that doesn't that doesn't mean that I'm gonna agree with you and and stop buying Chinese knives, especially now with. Let's say, for example, that Case had an example of this knife, and it was $150. And then Granway had an example of this knife, and it was $15. Well, if you're not sure if you're even going to like that pattern of knife, you could spend $15 on this, try it out. If you really like it and you want to go the step up and get the Case, then you can buy the Case knife. And you've satisfied both worlds, you know. You've used, you've got this one as a user to actually use, and you've got the other one to be the safe queen, or to, to look good, or whatever you wanted to, to, to gain value, whatever you wanted out of it. See, my motivation for buying knives is not how much money I can make off of them. If that was the case, I'd be a pro at learning how to buy GEC knives and flipping them the very next day, double my profit, because that's all I care about is profit. No, I care about knives and, and you know, Using them, sometimes just looking at them, just having that pattern, like, wow, man. A little bit longer like, knife like this. This is what Bowie was going up against in the sandbar fight, against people shooting him and stabbing him with sword canes and everything, you know. Kind of gives you an idea, you know, a fantasy world of what it's like. And that's all it needs for a knife to me. If, that, if that's all it brings out to you is you live a little past experience in your head about... Um, what it would be like to be, I wouldn't want to be Jim Bowie. I know how he ended up, but still, it was, he was one tough individual, man. Most people would have eh, wimped out after the first, you know, shot or stab. But this guy kept on going. And uh, it, it, because he was carrying a knife, you know, it, it made the legend stronger than what, it, you know, the knife was real. Any old knife. A kitchen knife. This this knife probably right here would be just as good in a knife fight as this one, you know. Um, when it comes down to is how well does the the how well does it cut whatever material you're going to use it against? How long does the edge last? Uh, edge retention isn't everything if you know how to sharpen a knife, but yeah, it is. You know, if you cut like two or three boxes of cardboard and then you have to sharpen your knife, that's going to be a pain in the butt. You know, you might want to consider a different steel or something like that. But for the most part, most people are not going to use their knife so much that they notice the difference between this and a $150 knife. You're, you're not, if you are, then you're going to, you're going to be like a guidesman or a, you know, somebody out there hunting that guides people, tours, and he knows that he's going to depend on his knife for his life. Most of us are not depending on our knife for our life, you know. I mean, come on. We don't have to. You know, that's not a requirement to uh, collect and enjoy knives, is that every knife has to be super functional, super tactical, only the best steel. If that's the way you want to set up your collection, fine. You know, that's your collection. That's not everybody's collection. I guarantee you there are going to be people that will look at your knives, even the American-made ones, and say, I don't like that pattern. Are you going to be offended? Are you going to be upset? No, you shouldn't be because who cares what other people, you know, have in their collection and what they use. You know, this that's why I named this channel William's Knife Life. This is my knife life. This is you can share it with me. You might like some of the same knives and stuff that I do, but you can't sit there and tell me that all the knives I have that are made in China are junk and I got robbed. Um, for the, in the first place, these were gifts, you know, so I'm going to review a knife and let people know that, um, I didn't buy it, but if, if I did, I would have no problem with buying this knife, you know, I have no problem buying this knife from what, even if it was made in Russia right now, if I could get it, I would buy it. Ooh, you're supporting Putin, <laughs> man. You know, take take politics somewhere else. Let's just let's just keep it down to the knives themselves, you know, in here because we can get bent up on politics on all kinds of things. Just like the one where uh inflation is 
the current administration's problem. Wrong. Inflation is the Federal Reserve's problem, and they started printing out trillions of dollars to uh, prop up the stock market during the pandemic. Uh, that was done in the prior administration. The current administration is no better because they let it keep going. Oh, we don't want to crash the economy. So all of these little decisions that we're talking about are out beyond our, our hands. The Federal Reserve is a private company. I mean, they, they have boards of directors and stuff, but they, they uh, you know, like the chairman of the Federal Reserve, but it's a private company. We pay them to print money for us. Whenever they print money, whenever they decide to print money, the first thing that we do is we give them money for printing it. You know, so I mean, it's a cushy job if you were in the Federal Reserve. I don't think it's constitutional either, but the, they decided that long ago. They decided this is the way we're going to do it. Anyway, money, politics, all of that does factor into buying knives and stuff, but to make a blatant, blatant statement that all knives of a certain country are junk is just an opinion, and, and you're entitled to that opinion, you know? But that doesn't make it true. That doesn't make it accurate. That doesn't make it a fact, you know? Um, so there. I could take, you know, I can show you examples of uh, U.S.-made knives that some people would say were junk, you know? Why are you paying that much money for that knife when they turned out one like that quality? Uh, but that's not that's not my that's, that's not what I'm going to try to do in in my channel here. I just I'm going to look at as many knives as I can and enjoy as many as I can. I'm gonna go see what this I've got a new phone number and I'm getting a bunch of scam calls. So, anyways, buy what you want. Enjoy what you want. Don't let somebody else dictate what you're going to buy because of their opinion. If they want to buy only American-made knives or knives that they consider, you know, a quality manufacturer, fine. And that, that might be good for their strategy. Their strategy may be to make money off knives or they just don't want to, you know, they might have had a personal experience with China. I don't know, you know. Um... Fortunately for me, I'm not going to let country of origin determine whether or not the knife is junk. Um, with Pakistan, I'm going to question that stuff. And I usually don't seek out Pakistan knives just because of that. But because of my bias, I've missed out on quite a few good, serviceable user, user knives. You know, Not all knives, like I said, have to be the most perfectly heat treated, the best steel, the best quality ever made. You know, like you've got to carry every knife you've got to carry is a GEC. All right. You know, that's fine. I can't afford to do that. Um, potentially I could if I wanted to save up, you know, uh, that type of money and just buy one knife. Um, that, that has its merits too, you know. So, like I said, I... I don't have any problem. Whatever strategy, whatever knife collection you've got, if you're happy with it, I'm happy. If you're unhappy with it, well, um, you can stop buying those knives anymore. And just because you're unhappy with it doesn't mean everybody else is going to be unhappy. You know, some people are not going to care. Uh, they're not going to have the same values or belief systems as you do. Does that make them a less of a person? Does that make you a better person? Not necessarily, you know. So, um, buy whatever you want to buy, is what I'm saying. And don't let other people, uh, don't let other people keep you from buying a knife if you don't, if you want to, you know. If you wanted to buy a knife and somebody else says that th those are junk, well, then that makes me watch out for them like oh you know this has got a light pull or something all right i'm going to be aware that this knife has got a light pull doesn't matter where it was made doesn't matter if case made this doesn't matter if gc victorinox or whatever if my main concern was the pull of a knife that would influence me more than country of origin that's all i'm saying here you know
You you pick whatever country you want to be uh, associated with and be as patriotic as you want, you know. Uh, fine. You have fun with that. I'm going to have fun with my knives. And if you don't like Chinese knives and you don't like seeing Chinese knives, um, you probably are not going to enjoy my channel, is what I'm saying. Because I enjoy I enjoy all kinds of knives from all different kinds of countries and everything. Got to bring out here Teddy. Got to bring Teddy out for this this event. Walk softly and carry a big stick or a big knife. Even a big knife is better. So yeah, there we go. Just a little just a little rant. This is probably not the last one about Chinese knives, but just another little touch up. A little touch-up rant. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.